Hello guys, um, in this tutorial we're going to talk about um, how to create a join um, operator. Um, so this is from last time, it has a window of two with overlapping one window and I'm gonna delete that and as you can see uh, there's no link between tracing and trace filter. So now in order to have two streams I'm gonna copy this first stream and then paste into the second stream um, and then I'm gonna name it differently. So double click on it and then general. And I want it to be trades in two. All right. And now I'm going to, going to have a third value, which is a index. We call it time dimension. And it's, it's, it's going to be a time stamp. OK. So you can just you know um, click on that and then select time stamp. So for trades two, I'm going to do the same thing. Of course, you can, you know, first edit trades one and then copy and paste um, for trades two. All right, now we have those three things, and I'll make it the same, same, um, the same order. <clears throat> so now what we need is a drawing operator. We're going to just uh, drag and drop here, and then we're just okay. We can call it trades drawing. Okay, uh, uh, you can just follow along um, because we haven't defined the drawing settings. Um, in here, we can define something like, for example, if I only want to draw in two trades if they have similar quantities. Um, actually, that doesn't make sense. Let me think of a new way. Um, we want to draw in two trades if they are coming from the same company. How does that? All right, so if they are coming from the same company, then we want to say, okay, input one dot symbol is equal to input two dot symbol. All right, and uh, we're gonna, you know, just uh, link it here. And then it's going to show there are errors for it. So, um, <clears throat> but the good thing is those two have shown the input 1 and input 2 correctly. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to modify the value-based settings. So the value, there are actually two, um, two options here to join by. You can either join by values or you can join by tuples. Uh, for our purpose, we're just going to join by values. And then for the ordering fields, we're going to say time. For both input stream, um, input stream 1 and input stream 2. And the drawing range are going to be 60 seconds. Um, we don't really want the... Um, uh, we don't really want the, um, the drawing to begin uh, from too, um, too far away in time, meaning only recent drawings make sense. Okay, so now it complains that this one doesn't have a symbol. So what I need to do debug is uh, I press control bar, control bar, and it's going to say, all right, uh, input one dot big symbol equal equals. You can click on control space, and then it's equal to input two dot symbol. And now it's not going to complain anything. Um, so the third tab we're going to fix is output settings because right now we have defined our inputs and uh, what do we want the output to be. Um, we can click on all input fields and then just output um, a lot of things. But for, for, our, for our demonstration, we're going to just, you know, output something like quantity average just like last time and then the expression is going to be, um, you know, press control control bar, control uh, space, and then input one dot quantity plus input two dot quantity divided by two. Of course, um, put this in here. And then what if I want to add another, uh, I, I want to add the symbol. Um, you can add this in here. So symbol and then control bar 
right? Input one dot um, symbol. And uh, just to verify that, okay, so just to verify that this is working, we are going to um, put a time difference in here, and then that's going to be the absolute value of um, input one dot uh, no input one dot time minus input two dot time. All right. <coughs> Okay, so now all we left is connecting it to the outputs, or actually, uh, we can still connect it to the trade filter, except that this one needs to have a uh, trades ABS in is in metal is argument type timestamp. I'm gonna remove that, and so just just to you know, just to. Compile, comply with the uh, errors. Okay, so now uh, we need to have the truth filter. It says quantity average greater or equal to 10,000, which is fine. And then um, it's, it's going to output it in here. Okay, the schemas are referred from trades join into the outputs. Easy. And now uh, we have created our join. Um, of course, uh, there are deeper things in there. I'm not going to talk about it in this, in this tutorial. So if you run it, and um, it's going to say it's associated with SV testing debug. Just click yes, and uh, you can see it running. And then for menu input, uh, we're going to send symbol IBM, quantity 10,000, time 1. And uh, nothing happens because uh, it's the tracing too. If we send IBM a uh, quantity uh, twenty thousand, and then time we should put something in between plus sixty seconds and minus sixty seconds. If we put two here, then it's going to have an output, right? It's going to have the um, the average between those two quantities and the time difference is 1.000. So now, uh, what if I put uh, the trades, I put trades in, and then remember our input for trades 2 is 1. If we put 60, 61, uh, what does that give us? Let's try it. So this one is 1, and then if we input 61, uh, it gives us the quantity average of 15,000 again, um, and the time difference is 60, 60, which makes sense because uh, it's still within the 60 uh, second range. If we um, put this one into 90, then I don't expect anything to come out because 90 is greater then the 90 minus 1 is 89, which is greater than 60 seconds. So what I expect is this one to be dropped out of the queue. All right, so now even if I put uh, <clears throat> 61 here, it's going to say, it's probably going to say error because the 61 is less than the 90 here, and the program I expected to just you know, um, keep on accelerating from 90. So it says here error at operator something something, and then the application input is going to be a system dot error. Okay, so hope you enjoy the video on um, the drawing. I'm going to talk about um, the two value simulation, you know, feed simulations in the next video, and uh, I'll see you. There. Bye.